Uh, so I have to prove the eigen values of symmetric kernel are real. Let k of x comma t, this is my kernel k of x comma t, be a symmetric kernel. Be symmetric kernel. Be symmetric kernel and let lambda be and let lambda be the eigenvalues eigenvalues of kernel k and y of x be corresponding be corresponding eigen function be corresponding eigen function Now this implies that y of x is equal to lambda integral from a to b k of x comma t y of t dt and this is equal to nothing but lambda k y of x that is y of x minus lambda k y of x is equal to 0 now i will be multiplying multiplying by y star of x we get so i will be multiplying y star of x so y of x multiplied by y star of x minus lambda k y of x into y star of x is equal to 0. I have to integrate this on uh, from a to b. Integrate from a to b integral from a to b y of x y star of x d of x minus lambda integral from a to b k y of x into y star of x dx is equal to 0 and this implies norm of y the whole square minus lambda inner product of ky comma y is equal to 0 and this will imply 
and this will imply lambda is equal to norm of y to the whole square upon inner product of k y comma y now this belongs to r has k is symmetric kernel now k is my symmetric kernel here this is k okay you let me write this properly so this is ky comma so lambda is equal to norm of y the whole square upon inner product of ky comma y belongs to r as k is symmetric kernel is symmetric kernel what i will be doing is yeah real fisher's theorem fisher's theorem if a uh, phi i of x is given orthonormal system if this is given as an orthonormal system of function in l2 space and alpha i be a given sequence of complex number such that the series summation of i is equal to 1 to infinity modulus of alpha i the whole square converges then there exists a unique function f of x for which alpha i are the fourier coefficient here my alpha is the fourier coefficient okay now with respect to the orthonormal system phi of x phi of x is orthonormal system and to which fourier series converges in mean that is this norm uh, norm f a, f of x minus summation of i is equal to 1 to n alpha i phi of x now this norm tends to 0 has n tends to infinity this will have to remember next prove that the eigen function of a symmetric kernel corresponding to distinct eigenvalues are orthogonal so let lambda 1 and lambda 2 be distinct be distinct eigenvalues be two distinct eigen values and let y1 and y2 y1 and y2 be corresponding be corresponding eigen functions eigen functions therefore y1 is equal to lambda 1 k y1 this is lambda 1 okay uh, and my y2 is equal to lambda 2 k y2 and my claim is to show that or prove that this is my claim or uh, inner product of 
y1 comma y2 is equal to 0 so since lambda 2 is real y2 is equal to lambda 2 k y2 okay so i will take this okay y2 is equal to lambda 2 k y2 okay that is what y2 of x is equal to lambda 2 integral from a to b k of x comma t y of t sorry y2 of t dt so my k by of 2 i am writing it has like this this k y of 2 is this y2 of this i will write as y2 of x is equal to lambda 2 and then this in this form integral from a to b k of x comma t y2 of t dt now i will take the complex conjugate on both the side and what i am going to get so this implies nothing but y2 conjugate x is equal to lambda 2 integral from a to b conjugate of k x comma t y2 of t dt he also conjugate now since kernel is symmetric okay kernel is symmetric it implies that y2 conjugate of x is equal to lambda 2 integral from a to b k of x sorry t comma x y2 conjugate t dt now this implies uh, i'm changing the variables now y2 conjugate of t is equal to lambda 2 integral from a to b i have only changed the variable so it is x comma t y2 conjugate of x dx also y1 of x is equal to lambda 1 integral from a to b k of x comma t y1 of t dt now i will be multiplying multiplying both side by y2 conjugate of x and integrate with respect to x what I am going to get is so integral from a to b integral from a to b y1 of x y2 of x conjugate this conjugate dx now this is equal to lambda integral from a to b integral again from a to b k of x comma t y1 of t dt into y2 conjugate of x dx now this is equal to lambda 1 integral from a to b integral from a to b k of x comma t 
y2 of x conjugate dx y1 of t dt this is by changing the order of uh, integration the last step the last step is by changing the order of integration okay next is so after this step i was getting this Th uh, this is equal to lambda 1 integral from a to b 1 upon lambda 2 y2 conjugate of t y1 of t dt now how i'm getting this step from here wait huh? mm -hmm. okay so here if i put this lambda 2 down over here so this is equal to what y2 bar of uh, y2 conjugate t upon lambda 2 so that's what i have done over here so lambda 1 integral from a to b uh, this and then instead of this part that y is the integral okay one millimeter now integral of this is nothing but what this and from where i'm getting this from here from this step so okay after this what you'll have to do now this is equal to lambda 1 lambda 2 keep it outside so integral from a to b y1 of t this into this y2 conjugate of t dt now this is equal to lambda 1 upon lambda 2 integral of from a to b now i'm only changing the variables like y1 of your t is i will put x wherever there is t i will put x that's it next i have proved that uh, now this is equal to lambda 1 minus lambda 2 here this i will bring it top so it will become lambda 1 minus lambda 2 rest i will write as it is integral from a to b y1 of x y2 uh, conjugate of x t of x is equal to 0 now since my either this is equal to 0 or this is equal to 0 since lambda 1 is not equal to lambda 2 I, it implies that this part like integral from a to b y1 of x y2 conjugate of x t of x is equal to 0 and uh, that is uh, inner product of y1 my, uh, comma y2 is equal to 0 this was my claim I was supposed to prove this hence y1 and y2 are orthogonal okay in the next video I will be proving more, video, uh, more uh, proofs and theorems and definitions and etc so thank you very much for watching this i hope you all are understanding